Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a new Let's Play. Today's game is going to be Last Window, The Secret of Cape Town. This game is actually a sequel, of yours to uh, a game I've already Let's Played on this channel called Hotel Dusk Room 215. What? Oh yes, viewers. This, uh, this game is actually gonna continue. Uh, the story of uh, Kyle Hyde, my uh, fa one of my uh, uh, favorite uh, characters, uh, recently uh, <laughs> joined as uh, one of my favorite characters. I like I like the character. I liked his story. The story wasn't uh, anything special. I liked I like the character enough, and definitely I liked the game's writing and uh, uh, the way they're uh, actually handled things in the first game. So it was easy for me to immediately jump. Uh, to the second game. So, viewers, let's go ahead and start uh, uh, our playthrough of Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. Yeah, of course, uh, viewers, I'm playing this on the DS emulator on PC, you know, for ease of recording. 1955, Hotel Cape West. Hmm. Did that guy steal whatever inside this? Or is it his own? Oh, this is a diamond. Ah, something tells me he actually stole that. Uh oh, he's a, he got, got a gun. Well, this guy is dead. Yeah, apologies for the choppiness fears. I tried my best to actually eliminate this choppiness, but I really couldn't. It's uh, it's an emulation bug, unfortunately. 1967, huh? What? Uh, is this lady all right? Uh, I'm gonna assume that... Uh she was wearing uh, a ring that had the same diamond. Hmm. Now, 1980. Red crown, huh? Oh, is that it? Oh, this is Rachel, our waifu! <laughs> ah, everyone's trying to find the where, uh, where's Hyde. Where is he? Oh, sleeping on the job? <laughs> Damn. It's 10 a.m., goddamn. Almost 11 a.m. You're sleeping? Oh. He just woke up at 4 p.m. Oh. What the? He got fired? Whoa. <laughs> no, no more Rachel. No. Cape West Apartments. Oh, well, we, we still have the same car, I guess. Hmm. Who was that lady? Ooh, charming. Another waifu? I'm in love with the animation, by the way, viewers. I absolutely love the animation in, th in this game. Absolutely. Uh, adore it. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry about that. Uh, this, uh, I'm trying, uh, I was uh, trying to do some settings to minimize the, uh, uh, what you call it, to minimize the, uh, the stutter and, uh, uh, that happens uh, during the, uh, the intro cutscene. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a way to do that, so. Um, we'll have to, to roll with that, sadly. The name's Kyle, uh, Kyle Hyde. I'm a salesman for a two-bit company called Red Crown. You mean you used to be. I quit my detective job in Manhattan and got uh, out of city a uh, good four years ago. On the surface, Red Crown makes deliveries, household stuff, nothing exciting. 
behind the scenes, the boss has a racket going to, uh, to find certain things. Things that don't want to be found, if you know what I mean. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I should allow the game to introduce the characters, especially for those who aren't familiar with the, with the series. I'm watching this for the first time, uh, not having any experience with the with the previous game. But uh, Kyle Hyde here used to uh, to be a cop, viewers, and uh, the, the reasons why uh, he. Uh, with the force, well, it's kind of explained in the first uh, game, but uh, he uh, works uh, for this company, which, you know, on the side, it does some, a little bit of detective work and tracking, and that's uh, how Kyle Hyde is uh, a little bit valuable, a, va a, valu a valuable uh, member uh, to the Red Crown people, but I guess uh, we got fired, huh? Uh, that's where I came in. I travel places and look for things. It ain't all dazzle and lights, but I'm not gonna hang it up uh, just yet. Then again, December 18th, 1980. That's the day it finally grew a pair and sent me on my way. <laughs> so I dragged my sorry ass to the dump I'm used to, ca I'm used to calling home. Oh shit. Hmm. Hopefully, uh, this split is gonna be, uh, better, by the way, viewers. I tried to make, uh, the, you know, the, the distance between the two screens, uh, much, uh, shorter, but I think this is the best distance. Hopefully, it's gonna look, uh, good, uh, on YouTube later. Uh, we need to press. Ah, uh, this is the same way that we got, uh, in, uh, the hotel desk for the first time. Chapter 1, December 18th, 1980. Nice. Hmm? Hey, is that? Who the hell is that? Maybe we should go and talk to him. Hmm. Uh, let's, go, let's go ahead and check uh, a few things here in our known spheres. These are all the characters that uh, we know. Ed, the boss of Red Crown. He has a side business finding lost diamonds. Ah, Rach, you're the waifu. Oh. She works at Red Crown as Ed's uh, secretary. These are the guys so far. Uh, we don't have a summary or anything. Though. I guess not. How big is this place? Holy! It's actually... Uh, well, uh, this place may actually have a lot of people. Assuming that this is the only place that we can... The only place that we can visit. Uh, Hotel Dusk wasn't a, a big, a uh, large area. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to find our way all around. Alright. Welcome everyone! Welcome to... Last window. Uh, I'm really excited to actually start this game, and uh, I think this game. Uh, uh, this is a, this is actually the last game that uh, the company Sync uh, actually worked on. After that, they got defunct, and uh, of course, the people that worked in that uh, company, uh, I think they got absorbed into another company that's called Arc System Works, and the Arc System Work uh, people uh, are mostly known for uh, fighting games, uh, with the uh, with the Blaze Blue uh, series and the uh, and the uh, uh, Guilty Gear seri series as well, uh, among the other fighting games. They also uh, they also make. Uh, uh, I think they also sometimes uh, 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 publish uh, visual novels, and I'm actually interested inter uh, interested in some of them. And uh, the people that work on this game actually worked on, uh, on, a, on a spiritual successor 
to these games that um, I'm trying to get my hands on and hopefully play in the future. And maybe after this one immediately, because I looked a little... I looked... Uh, I checked the gameplay a little bit and uh, I thought uh, it was interesting. Interesting enough at least to, to, tr to try it out. But so... Uh, it is still too early to, to say anything actually about that. Let's go ahead and enjoy our playthrough of uh, Last Window. I can see the street through the window, but there isn't exactly much to look at. Hmm. Oh, and by the way, viewers, uh, for those who are new to the channel, I check everything, read everything, I take my time checking everything extremely slowly, so uh, if you really don't like uh, my slow-ass playstyle, well, <laughs> tough luck! <laughs> <laughs> Tough luck, bitch! Uh, but hopefully uh, my playthroughs are gonna be entertaining for you, uh, viewers. I try to uh, try my enjoyment in these games, definitely in the dialogue and the item descriptions. There, there's, uh, I mean, there's an opportunity for games like uh, uh, this to, ex you know, to showcase the characters uh, themselves. Uh, just, you know, letting the character just... Uh, Check an item. I actually try to describe him for himself, and the, and Kyle Hyde in the previous game was quite the character. <laughs> was quite the character, and uh, he has definitely become one of my favorite characters. Easily, easily. The Nightshade has been better. Has seen better days. Not the holes are, are part of the design. <laughs> Damn, is that old? Is it just me? Or has there been uh, more junk delivered to the lobby than usual? Huh. Maybe something's going on. Ah, uh, Detective uh, Hunch is... Uh, is Detective Hunch is tingling, huh? Uh, Alright, game, I know. Uh, the game is trying to, to teach me how to play the game, I believe. Uh, this interface definitely looked like the, the previous game. A large wooden cabinet complete with doors and drawers. Empty ones. Chairs, two old but sturdy uh, built chairs. Wonder how long since someone actually sat on one. So what a shelf. Nothing but an uh, aging wooden uh, bookshelf. Uh, I think it's more. Uh, it's more of a display case. Oh, well, maybe they actually removed uh, the shelves. That's why it's a little bit bigger. Well, what kind of books are actually uh, are you keeping here? Oh. Are you keeping the what? Uh, Saturn games cases? <laughs> you know those of yours? The long ones. Or maybe even uh, 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 mid, mid uh, 90s uh, PC games. Holy. Those uh, ones are really big. It's like, uh, uh, like it's a carton of uh, a cereal. Like a, pack a cereal package sized. Holy. Nothing but an aging wooden bookshelf. I can see some graffiti on the back of the shelf. Classy. Uh, is it promising you to have a, a good time? <laughs> is it that kind of graffiti? Someone's number? I'm promising a, a good time? Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to have a bulb in place, but I'm sure it did uh, work if it did. Oh, can we check this one? There are a load of cardboard boxes piled up next to the wall. But they looked pretty full. Let's say somebody went, uh, uh, went a little overboard with the, with the packing tape. I mean, I mean, if the insides are really important, uh, I would definitely finish all the tape on it. Especially if it's something that can break. Or something that my people might actually try to steal. At least I would know that there's something missing. I guess that's it. Uh, so yeah, the interface the interface is definitely the same. Let's go ahead and check out inventory. Room 202 key. Oh, so this is where we, uh, we're gonna stay. The key to my apartment. Got it on a big fat key ring so I don't lose it. We have a pager. I promised Rachel I'd call a uh, red uh, crown right away if it rings. Oh shit. We're not gonna be able to use that anymore. Huh? There's an elevator. Lucky's Cafe. Uh, I, I don't wanna get out of here yet. I wanna check the area first. I'm a, 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 
liking the music, by the way, viewers. I think the music is really great. Uh, huh. A vending machine. I didn't do anything with the vending machine in the last time. In the last game, by the way, viewers. I couldn't find actually anything to do with it. I don't know. I'm prob I've probably missed something. There's a notice on the vending machine. Special uh, promotion. What's this? Special promotion. Buy something uh, from the machine and be sure to check uh, the reverse of the bottle cap. Uh, of the bottle cap, winner will receive fabulous prizes. For more information, please contact the lawn, the landlady, or the pro uh, pro uh, proprietor of Lucky's uh, Cafe. Good luck. Make your 25 cents count. Fabulous prizes, huh? Maybe I should buy some juice. How can I do that? I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. I really don't have money, huh? Oh, we have uh, our note. Oh, we have four, uh, six pages. Uh, I think uh, we used to have three only. Now we have six pages. Huh. Oh, shit. Seven left, seven left, one right. Is that a combination for a... Uh... For, uh, for, uh, for storage? Oh, it's only five pages. Well, I guess. I guess. Uh, is, uh, is my handwriting uh, fabulous, viewers? Oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. It's atrocious. <laughs> it's atrocious. Well, I'll roll with that. <laughs> it's atrocious. So that's enough for that. So, uh, there's a vending machine in the lobby. Unfortunately, I don't have I don't have any change right now. We never actually had change in, in, the, in the last game. Maybe I actually had. To get some. Oh, actually, I probably did have some money. Uh, actually, I just remember that, yeah, I actually had some money, but I didn't use it. <laughs> There's a sofa in the corner of the lobby. Looks like a victim of too many uh, behinds. Too many filthy asses. Huh? A photo of a city skyline is hanging on the wall. Generic portraits aren't. <clears throat> Maybe we'll be able to, to find some change in, uh, in our room later. Hmm. Nothing uh, special here. Uh, it's a light. It does its job. <laughs> There's a painting of a lake hanging on the wall. It has a small caption underneath it. What does it say? I can't quite read it. Lake? Ju? Ju et? Must be the name of the lake. I don't know. Lake Joe? Lake Joe Mama? <laughs> uh, this light's old, but it looks like it's uh, been uh, dusted at least. Well, this area is at least uh, clean. Yeah, does uh, Rose work here too? Mm. Oh. I mean, we can talk to this guy. Huh? Well, uh, I actually wanted to talk to him. So, well, I want to check the area. Well, hey there, hi! What? What? Is that all you can say? You saw me here and just planned on walking right by? That's cold, man! <laughs> Can't believe I let myself get held up by this guy. <laughs> Kyle doesn't like him at all. Why is that, I wonder? So, long time no see? Long time. You serious? I absolutely love the animation because holy, 
I absolutely love the animation on these characters. It's been, what, three days since we last bumped into each other? Three days is not a long time, buddy. Trust me, seeing you once every three days is plenty. <laughs> Come on, man. You're killing me here. Don't be so cold. Who's this guy? Tony! Guy's name is Tony Wolf. A musician. Lives across the hall. Not exactly a platinum seller, though. Schedule full of free time and uh, broke to boot. To, uh, broke to boot. Living the big free and easy. Oh, well, feels bad, man. Just passed a dame in, a sun in sunglasses on the way in. She a friend of yours? Ah, that class lady in the big hat? Nope, no friend of mine. Doesn't live here either. Came to visit someone, I guess. At least, I don't think she lives here, anyway. Helpful, Tony. Real helpful. <laughs> what, sir? Why are you... Uh, on that guy. Leave him alone. Oh, come on, man. You in love with her or something? Rachel looks uh, hella good, but hey, uh, the, the previous game had uh, stunning waifus, I gotta be honest. No, just curious. Yeah, sure. Give that brain cell of yours a rest. Why don't you? Speaking of rest, I got somewhere to be. So, we're taking off already? Not exactly the chatty type, are you? No chit-chat uh, for your old pal, Tony? Uh, this guy for real? Since uh, when we've uh, been cl uh, close friends? Whoa. This guy will uh, think we're joined at the hip or something. <laughs> uh, let's go with this one. Tony, we're just living in the same building. Whoa. Doesn't exactly make us best friends, you know. <laughs> but we're cool, right? I mean, I live right across uh, from you and all. Well, I guess you, you're you're his neighbor. Under the same roof for four years now. That's uh, gotta count for something. I mean, you're like family, man. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, oh, and the smirk. Oh, the updated smirk. Well, oh, family, huh? Serious. Hey, that reminds me. I got this favor to ask. Uh, us being buddies and all. What the? This should be good. Here's the deal. I got this need for a little cash real quick. Oh, god damn it. My mom's sick. Uh, my mom's uh, sick and I had to check uh, into hospital. You know how it is. Yeah, he's got. This guy's lying. In a nutshell, I need to scrap together a uh, thousand to cover it all. Yeah. I don't think this guy is... <laughs> I don't think... Uh, I think this guy's mom is alright. I hate to rain on your parade, pal, but I, I don't have that kind of money. Well, at, at one point I actually had. <laughs> and there's me thinking uh, you're swimming in it. You think I'd be living in a dump like this if I was? Listen, if I had that sort of cash lying around, I'd throw you a bone. But it ain't there. What a drag. Back to square one, then. Where am I gonna come up with that kind of cash now? No, I should've gone, uh... Teetotal? Teetotal? What does that mean? Teetotal? Even Kyle doesn't know what that means. Now, Tony, why do I get the feeling you're not being entirely straight with me? Nah, man, you must have heard me wrong. I just wanted to see how much of a friend you were, that's all. Same old... So, he lied. Just because? Nah, he's lying. He actually wanted... If he got the cash, he would've skedaddled. Same old Tony. You seriously think I've uh, forgotten the crap you pulled two weeks ago? Don't say it, man. We've been through this. <laughs> Only it wasn't your mom then, it was your brother. 
Oh shit! <laughs> you came to me with some sob story about getting him out of the hospital. And like a fool, I passed you the taxi fare. And then, what do you know? That hospital was a restaurant, and your brother was some broad. Oh. Tony, uh, the player. I said I'm sorry, man. I said it like uh, I said it like a million times already. I wasn't thinking straight. Didn't mean any harm. You know that, right? Cross my heart, I won't try a stunt like that again. You got my word. Yeah, I don't think that you're gonna be. Uh, you're you are s sincere saying that. Yeah, yeah, and the rest. Why have I got a funny feeling of deja vu right about now? I ain't no fortune teller, but I predict I'll be hearing it next month too. <laughs> Are you for real? Next month? Yeah, that's rich. You know damn well there won't be any uh, more of our little chats next month. Uh, what does he mean by that? I wanna pick this one. All we got left. Meaning? Are you kidding me? After we got that letter, I really didn't have a choice. Oh. So this is the mechanic of uh, us... Uh, 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 of uh, the mechanic of actually trying to find subjects or topics to ask around. And some of these topics are only related to certain characters. They're not related to any other characters. And not unless this game gonna change its mechanic, but I don't think so. I don't think so. So we had a to no, we had now we have a topic to ask. Uh, and probably ask it to, to more than one character. What letter? What letter are you talking about? Man, I'm talking about the letter Max, uh... Uh, Mags Patrick sent, uh, sent out. It was all made plain and simple in there. Which letter would that be? Tell me you got the letter. We all got them about a week ago. Huh. Everyone in the building got one. First of, uh, first I've ever heard, uh, first I've heard of it. You serious? You haven't read the letter? And you call me irresponsible. What a joke. Uh, what was on that letter? Can it, Tony? What are you talking about? Do you even check your mailbox? Ever? Oh, I guess we... Uh, there was a... There was some... Mailboxes back then. Back there. We might as well go and check it. Why am I even asking? Last time I snuck a peek, yours was uh, packed solid. Oh, shit. Let's just say I'm not uh, the kind of guy who has uh, pen pals. Oh, well, it was the 80s, so I guess people used to uh, write to each other. Well, not that. It, it, I don't think in the 80s uh, it was that common, definitely. Probably uh, two decades ago. Bills and other junk. They don't deserve my time. Uh, bills? <laughs> sloppy. Real sloppy. You're lucky to hold uh, down a job uh, with an attitude like that. Well, not anymore. That's supposed to be a joke. Yeah, especially coming from someone <laughs> that's actually jobless. Well, we're in the same boat now, buddy, so... Feels bad, man. What's my job got to do with this? Let's get back on track. What exactly did this letter say? Told us all to gather our stuff and clear out. Just like that? Oh, what a face. No reason? Nothing? I mean, that's not how people handle things, especially since... People have contracts. And, uh... uh you know, the uh, landlord is obligated to at least uh, offer you... Uh, uh, offer you some sort of a... A... Uh, a, some sort of a buffer time, like 30 days or 60, day, 60 days. Probably 60 days, because you know, nobody can find can find a place in a month, holy. You'd think you, you would have the time, but you cannot find a place in a month, holy. 
Appar apparently, our lovely landlady threw in the towel and decided to sell up. Place is going to uh, get knocked down, uh, is what I heard. What a day. First, Ed drops the bombshell. Then I heard this place is being sold. Hey, guys. What the hell is that? There's a voice coming from the stairs. Looks like someone's uh, coming down. Hey! Oh! Oh, shit! Whoa, whoa. what's with the... Uh, <laughs> with the soy uh, laugh? Hey, Tony! Who the hell is that? Betty! How are you doing? Uh, that's Betty, I guess. You're looking your usual fine self. Always the gentleman. Hello, Mr. Hyde. Whoa. <laughs> Something tells me that Hyde won't... does not like her. Is everything okay? That's Betty, huh? Her name is Betty Meyer. <laughs> I don't like this chick. Rents room 203 and sells trinket in, in a little accessory shop nearby. Always polite to everyone. Can't say I'm uh, her biggest fan, though. <laughs> well, boy, how did I uh, uh, know that? So, what are you guys talking about? Get this! Senior Hyde here didn't know about the big ev uh, uh, eviction. Really? I thought everyone knew. Except me, apparently. Tony was just uh, filling me in. Hyde being less informed than me. You couldn't make this stuff up. Claims he never seen, uh, he never even saw the letter. Could have just gone about his normal routine if I uh, hadn't broken the news. No way. How could you not know? That's. <laughs> that's pretty funny! Yeah, that's right. Laugh it up. <laughs> oh, he looks super angry! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But you have to admit, it's pretty ironic. Now I think. Uh, now I think about it. It kind of fits uh, in nicely with your personality. What does that mean? My personality? Type B, Mr. Hyde. You always act so focused. Then again, I guess we all have our quirks. Well... I guess you're right there, buddy. I guess, I guess, I guess you're right. I guess you're right on that point. <laughs> Enough of the character profiling, Doc. They always act like we're sharing a college dorm or something. <laughs> he doesn't like anyone. But the truth is, we barely even know each other uh, around here. Huh. Hey, Betty. You've got a place lined up uh, after you move out? What do you mean? You know, like somewhere to stay? Oh, that, yeah. I'm all set. Uh, lease is signed and sealed, in fact. I'll be out uh, of here next week. Wasting no time, eh? So, uh, where are you gonna be living from now on? Why do you keep it all uh, to yourself? We're buddies, aren't we? Oh, no. Now, now, Tony. If I go giving away my new digs, I have a funny feeling I'm gonna find you lurking around in the shadows. <laughs> I like the, her look. A <laughs> suspicious look. Me lurking! Don't take it personally, but... This is one thing I think I'll keep from my real friends. Oh! Shit. Okay, I get it, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> I like, uh, I like Kyle's, uh, expression. This fool. This idiot. The sad sod. But hey, our friendship's uh, just blooming. Well, four years? It took it four years to bloom? Holy, what the hell uh, is it? What kind of, uh, of uh, plant is that? What's, what's, what are plants that actually take long to bloom? I don't know. 
If we work at it, it could become a thing of beauty. Oh no. What do you say? We could chat over a latte, catch up on old times. You know, all that stuff. Dream on, Tony. <laughs> anyway, I've got to dash. Don't want to be uh, late for my date. Oh shit, get denied. Uh, uh, Tony. Catch you guys later. Looks like I blew my chances. You think? She's got no idea of the uh, heartache she causes. Just cast me aside like I'm not even there. Face it, Tony. You don't exactly exude charisma. Not to mention that, uh, you know, uh, if you wanna have a girl uh, on your side, at least you need to have a job. Yeah, thanks for that, friend. Way to kick a man when he's down, right? Sometimes I wonder where I'm gonna get myself out of this rut. Can't even uh, draw my sorrows in a bottle without any cash. I don't know. Maybe I'll go for a stroll. Taking the night air. Later, man. Well, he's cadaddled. <laughs> Interesting bunch. Damn, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this game. I think I think that I'm gonna enjoy this game a lot, viewers. Really interesting start. Huh? I was about to check my mailbox. A door in the lobby opens, and out comes a person. Hmm. I'm gonna assume that's the landlady, huh? Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Hyde. May I have a word? Uh, Miss Patrick. Or Mrs. Patrick, sorry. Well, Margaret. Her name's Margaret Patrick. Owner of Cape West uh, Apartments. And lives here on the first floor. Took over when uh, this place was a rundown hotel and fixed it up into apartments. Uh, to the local, uh, she's known as Mags. I could have sworn I heard Mr. Wolf's uh, voice a moment ago. Yeah, he was barking all right. He was here. You just missed him. He was ranting about needing some fresh air. Oh, is that so? What a shame. Ah, oh, this is if we want to inquire, and this is where if we want to ignore. Well, these mechanics aren't new, but uh, are not new viewers. But I'm uh, inter I'm I'm interesting in the way that are they're actually displaying that uh, from what I know it's always there's absolutely no reason to ignore always inquire uh, at least probably maybe if you if you already played the game and you just know what's important or what's not maybe hey uh, what do you mean Mr. Wolf not being present. I was hoping to bring a, a pressing matter to his attention. What is that? Pressing matter. Is it urgent? What could be so pressing? I like how she looks as well. I, um... I'm, uh, like... I'm really... I really think these games are great. Especially the writing, everything in about this game is great. Unfortunately, I heard that these games really don't sell well. They're not, uh, they're not really uh, profitable. Even though, like you see for yourself, viewers, uh, animation, quality of writing, uh, all top notch in my opinion. What is it uh, that's so pressing? Do you need to ask Tony something? Yes, I do. It's a fairly important thing, too. Importance? It's about his rent. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Let me guess. Uh, he, he's uh, come up short. Quiet. This month, uh, this month marks uh, fourth in a row he hasn't uh, settled his bell. I was going to ask him to clear his uh, slate today. Typical Tony. 
Squirming uh, your way out of another financial situation. Looks like uh, you got a problem there. Yes, I had hoped he'd be a little more forthcoming. After all, the rest of the tenants are such nice people. Hmm. So, all of us are, are okay, except for him. It's just Mr. Wolf, really. I suppose there's always one, uh, one though. Trouble does tend to follow him around. Actually, while I have you here, Mr. Hyde... Uh-oh. Well, I guess trouble follows uh, Kyle Hyde, uh, too. What's on your mind? There's a small matter uh, uh, of your rent, too. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, I'm not paying my bills? Ah, is that right? <laughs> he knows. He knows. He's, uh, he doesn't have, He didn't pay. Ah, is that right? Not trying to pull the wool over my eyes, are you, Mr. Hyde? If memory serves, you have uh, both last month and this month to pay. I appreciate this... Uh, uh, I appreciate this comes at a bad time. I appreciate this comes at about time with everyone getting ready to leave. But rent is rent, and these apartments don't pay for themselves. Of course. I'll expect 400 in total from you then, Mr. Hyde. Can you find an apartment for 200 a month in Los Angeles? I don't think it's possible. 200, even with inflation, even if you can't inflation. I don't think this is possible. Well, it depends on where, the, where they live, but uh, they live in Los Angeles. This Los Angeles supposedly is supposedly expensive. If you could make sure it reaches uh, me by the weekend, that would be perfect. Got it. By the weekend. There is one other tiny matter, Mr. Hyde. Another one. Yes, concerning your mailbox. I know you're a busy man, but if you could spare a couple of minutes and remove some of that clutter, it'd be most appreciated. I was actually uh, was about to do that, lady. I always check uh, when I pass and rooms uh, 202's mailbox is practically overflowing. Roger that. I'll take a look. Much obliged, Mr. Hyde. Well, I think that's my cue to go. I mean, she's reasonably uh, nice. I gotta be honest. Before you go, oh, bleh, I don't wanna. Like, uh, uh, uh thankfully, I uh, haven't, uh, you know, I haven't, uh, uh I haven't, uh, l I, I haven't lived in a place where I actually had to pay rent. Uh, for a while now, for over a decade, actually, but my last landlord was, uh... <sighs> the easiest thing, uh, and the, be and, the uh, and the nicest thing that I can say about my la last landlord is, uh, he can go fuck himself. <laughs> Before you go, mind if I ask you something? What is it? Why did you decide to sell this place all of a sudden? Ah, I had a feeling you'd ask. Originally, I had no intention of giving this place up. But you know, sometimes unexpected, unexpected things happen and... Well, it's complicated. Hmm. Complicated in what way? Uh, can we actually show... Cash? Yeah, I remember we can actually show people or so. I believe this is the key to your apartment, is it not? Yeah, you can actually sh uh, show people yourself. I see you have a pager. Oh, um, in the previous games, uh, mo they really don't uh, in interact with the uh, with uh, with the things that are mostly irrelevant to them. Maybe that's new, or maybe this is just gonna be special, just for the... For this first character. Um, I actually, uh, I gotta be honest with you, because I adore, uh, the way she looks. 
Complicated in what way? How is the situation complicated? Were you against uh, selling the apartments? Uh, it really is quite complicated. I'd rather not discuss it. Why not? Um, it's not your place. Come on. I don't think that's any of your concern, Mr. Hyde. Uh, I'd be grateful if you could refrain from asking me again. Uh, I think sometimes pushing it is uh, actually even risky too. I've got to ask. Is everyone behind uh, in the rent? What could be so sensitive? I'm gonna push for it. What could be so sensitive? Mr. Hyde, perhaps I wasn't making myself clear. It's... Uh, it really is quite complicated. I'd rather not discuss it. I see. I... Uh, f in the previous game, viewers, uh, you can actually... Uh, uh, you actually you can actually get a game over status if you uh, if you actually push some situations uh, where uh, you make people on, uh, you make people un uncomfortable or uh, or annoy them because uh, in the last game you were uh, you know uh, you you know you were uh, renting a hotel room and if the other tenants find you annoying they will. Uh, like the uh, the uh, the uh, the the hotel owner is uh, will give you a warning that hey I don't like you uh, and if anyone complains you're out of here and you try to maintain uh, that uh, maintain you know uh, you know trying to get these info without uh, angering anyone. Make, uh, making them upset, you know, ultimately getting, your, getting yourself kicked out of the hotel. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be the case in this game. I'm going to get kicked out of the, of the apartments if we anger anyone. But since uh, we're starting the game, I thought well, I might as well push it. Yeah, you get a game over, viewers, by the way. <laughs> and if you haven't saved or anything, you have to restart from the, uh, from the last save. Or even at the beginning if you haven't saved. I see. And what makes you think I'm happy to share my secrets with you, Mr. Hyde? Hmm. Secrets, huh? Hmm. We can continue talking more with her. We don't have anything to say, though. Hey, Mrs. Patrick. Damn it. Looks like I need to work on my uh, on my uh, tact. It really is quite complicated. I'd rather not discuss it. And what makes you think uh, I'm happy to share my secrets with you uh, anyway, Mr. Hyde? Did she take offense when I asked about the building being sold? Guess I'd better smooth uh, things out, things over. Can I bother you for a moment? So, I think this is uh, the game is trying to warn us about, hey, uh, be careful of your, your choices here. So, I I'll try my best, you know, to, to be careful later. What is it? I didn't mean to be rude. Well, I guess we'll have to apologize, huh? I'm sorry about before. I wasn't out to upset you or anything. Oh. You said that you weren't happy to share your reasons. But I still let my curiosity get the better of me. Well, Mr. Hyde. That's very, uh, gallant of you to say that. I could have been more, uh, polite too. I'm not easy uh, for a... W uh, uh, it's not easy for a widow like me to take care of a place like this, you know. I can trust, uh, you to understand that, can't I? Yeah. Truth be told, my dad died and left uh, my mom a uh, widow too. I'm sorry to hear that. So your situation's not exactly alien to me. It's nice to know uh, there are still some understanding, uh, understanding people out there. 
I noticed that there's a lot of uh, demolition. Uh, I noticed that there's a lot of demolition around these parts lately. Your predicament uh, wouldn't be anything to do with that, would it? Wouldn't it? Well, I can't say that. Uh, I can't say they uh, haven't been hassling me. Uh, I can't say they haven't been hassling me a little. But that's not the main reason. Oh. So, it's one of the reasons. People, uh... Maybe, uh, like, a few people trying to acquire these, uh... You know, these lands to... I don't know. To build something? I don't know. To build something b bigger or something? But that's not the main reason. And I'm gonna assume that we cannot push this. But let's try it out. So you're saying there's a cast iron reason behind this? I'm not going to comment on that. And I don't think you should be uh, uh, prying either. Please don't pay it uh, any mind. Right. Hmm. I'm sorry things have turned out this way, Mr. Hyde. I really am. I think it's time for me to be on my way too. Mags head back into her room. 400 by the weekend. That's a tall order. Damn, if you're having trouble getting 400... Yeah, well, well, I'll probably need to to check uh, inflation in 1980s. Uh, how much uh, does that co cost in today's money? I'd better make a note of that in my notebook. <laughs> Can actually write this down. Notes. We can write it here. Uh, I'm broke. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. 